Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I'm your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop. And in this episode, we are going to hop into our mint-flavored time machine and travel back to the year 1968 to a world even stranger than ours. My review of the 1968 sci-fi adventure film, Planet of the Apes, coming up now. It's the year 2367 as a crew of astronauts set home to Earth and enter hypersleep. The crew is awoken when the ship begins to sink and they realize something went wrong as they find themselves in the year 3978. With the ship sunk, the astronauts become stranded on an unknown planet 300 light years away from Earth. They soon find an oasis and a caveman-like herd of humans who don't speak. Soon, apes with guns and riding on horses capture the humans and put them into cages. When the ape leader discovers the astronaut known as Taylor can speak, he wants him killed. Two of the apes who take a liking to Taylor try to help him escape to the Forbidden Zone. So what did I think of Planet of the Apes? I thought it's a fantastic sci-fi adventure. It's loosely based on the 1963 novel by Pierre Boulet, La Planète des Singes, known in English as The Planet of the Apes. The film is directed by Franklin J. Schaffner, who would go on to direct such films as Patton, Nicholas and Alexandra, Papillon, and The Boys from Brazil. Planet of the Apes premiered on February 8, 1968 at the Capitol Theater in New York City and had its wide release in the United States on April 3, 1968. It was met with acclaim from critics and audiences alike, being rated as one of the best films of the year. One of the first things we notice about the film is its spectacular cinematography and stellar sets as the astronauts hike around and explore the planet. The sequence with the astronauts crashing has some great shots and innovative camera work for its time. The makeup and costumes on the apes looks incredible and still holds up well and looks pretty impressive today. It's interesting to see them walking, talking, and having a caste system with chimpanzees having highly educated positions, such as doctors and psychologists, orangutans as politicians and administrators, and gorillas as police officers and hunters. The story is a witty and intelligent satire, which includes some social commentary and acts as an allegory to slavery, but isn't too preachy. The epic line, take your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape, is still quoted today, mostly by me at work. Something that seemed a bit cheesy and cracked me up was Taylor's reaction when a fellow astronaut plants a U.S. flag on the planet. There's a nice amount of action, including a fun scene where Taylor gets loose and is chased by the primates through their village. The finale is rather exciting as well, with Taylor holding one of the apes hostage and a big reveal in the final shot that's pretty surprising. Unless, of course, you already know it's coming. <laughs> the cast stars Charlton Heston as George Taylor, the head astronaut who's captured by the apes and is trying to escape before they kill him. Roddy McDowell as Dr. Cornelius, an archaeologist ape who actually listens to what Taylor has to say and finds him interesting. Kim Hunter as Dr. Zira, Cornelius's fiance, an animal psychologist that befriends Taylor and helps him with an escape plan. Maurice Evans as Dr. Zayas, the orangutan leader of the primates who wants Taylor terminated. And Linda Harrison as Nova, a captured woman on the planet Taylor is attracted to. Planet of the Apes was nominated for two Academy Awards, Best Costume Design and Best Score from Jerry Goldsmith. It received an honorary Oscar for John Chambers for his outstanding makeup achievement. In 2001, the film was inducted into the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. Planet of the Apes is a smart and entertaining experience that's a first-rate sci-fi adventure. Number-wise, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10, which gives it the A-list rating of 
A-list approved. That's right, it gets the A-list. Seal of approval. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West Drew Baylist. And of course, you can follow me on the Instagram and Letterboxd at West A List. Until next time, Troop. Out.